The building sector today suffers from fragmentation, complex regulation, low productivity growth, poor procurement and supply chain management, and contractual frameworks that hinder collaboration across the value chain. At the same time, it faces big challenges like reducing its carbon emissions, digitalization, and the difficulty to attract skilled workforces. So is there hope? We believe yes. There are many change drivers that may still create a perfect storm and revolutionize the industry. Let's fast forward and explore four scenarios of how the building sector will change in 20 years time. Imagine yourself in the year 2040. In the past years, data gained an increasing importance, becoming the most valuable resource worldwide. This only kept increasing the power of big tech, who joined forces with big AEC companies and found a way to profit from the new business opportunities that were emerging for the building sector. Together, they gave shape to new highly efficient housing typologies, which exceeded the average sustainability standards, thanks to modeler and off-site construction, as well as super efficient operation. As a result, now, in 2040, tech giants build and operate large parts of the building sector and have become part of society's daily lives through their open data smart home devices and platforms. Big tech and OEM companies rely on architects as experienced designers, as the city has become a platform where emotions are appealed. Artificial intelligence and digital twins have transformed the way we build and operate with fully remote and digital operation of buildings. Large parts of the building environment are facilitated by city information models, which have replaced building models in the late 2020s. Digital skills are highly demanded as new responsibilities and workflows emerge in the building process. Physical and digital spaces and experiences converge into one seamless experience. Digitalization of lifestyles has created a thriving new scenario for buildings, which are now experienced rather than occupied and keep increasing opportunities for companies to create value. In the early 2020s, climate change and extreme weather events created a stronger sense of urgency. The Fridays for Future movement propagated new ways of consumerism and significantly pressured policymakers into action. 2023 saw the implementation of EU-wide detailed reporting scheme for circularity along all production lines. The EU taxonomy on sustainable activities was enacted and enabled the market to effectively channel investments towards sustainable projects. In contrast to other global regions, in 2040, Europe is on the way to meet the climate targets and keeping global warming well below 2 degrees Celsius. Today, frontrunners in circular construction look back at 25 years of experience. Compared to this historical example of 2016, circular construction has reached an intermediary level of maturity by now. Approaches to regenerative design and construction phase out merely sustainable construction. New, high-performing green materials enter the market and facilitate novel construction techniques. Supported by powerful digital twins, buildings act as material banks. Components and materials are circulated back into an extended market for secondary materials at end of life. Close materials loops reverse logistics and deconstruction open up new revenue streams for suppliers and contractors. Applying circular principles to construction has created new revenue streams across the industry. Environmental and social responsibility go hand in hand with economic growth. During the 2020s, the European taxonomy and funding schemes for sustainable practices did not steer the construction market as expected. Industry fragmentation, new risks and no common gains prevented collaboration between public and private entities. Europe failed to meet the climate targets by 2030. However, 
countries like Singapore were successful. Following their example, European governments implement binding targets for emissions and resources in order to adapt to the consequences of climate change. Public governments are now actively working to provide better living conditions for their inhabitants and make huge investments on green public infrastructure and housing. The private sector, however, is suffering the consequences of a highly regulated market, with a high risk of stranded assets and properties often changing owner. Architecture now relies on standardized, prefabricated and scalable solutions, as it complies with new building codes. The need to comply with the binding requirements on sustainability has changed the required skill set in architects, who are now less constrained in design, but more engaged into industrialization processes. State-approved companies who must comply with all the requirements are preferred. In this competitive market, only the strong survive and profit from the margins of developing big sites. Europe is slowly adapting to the consequences of climate change. However, the building sector, stuck between certifications and standardization, does not seem to catch up with other industrialized sectors. Disruptive innovation in production and storage technology opened new development potentials for the energy sector in the early 2020s. Political steering and large investments helped transforming the energy grid all across Europe. In 2040, Europe runs fully electric, powered by a wide spectrum of different energy sources – wind, hydrogen, geothermal, water and nuclear power are used depending on regional availability. The grid works bidirectional, enabling distributed energy generation in buildings. Households turn into prosumers of energy. Growing ever smarter, the grid extends to autonomous cars and the large Internet of Things. As green energy is abundantly available, policymakers shift attention to embodied carbon, which means CO2 emissions related to the production of materials. Suppliers redirect their portfolios towards the EU-backed refurbishment wave, as refurbishment allows to drastically reduce embodied carbon in construction as compared to newly erected buildings. In the meantime, contractors ramp up technical skills, as construction now goes in hand with the installation of highly complex electrical systems. In 2040, the construction industry has adapted its value chain to the demands and conditions of a fully electrified Europe. Four scenarios. Giants rule the AEC industry, circular future, public sector leadership and abundant green energy. Scenarios that represent consistent and plausible futures for your organization and the industry as a whole. They help to examine a different future, understand alternatives and inform strategy. Some of them are describing more sustainable futures than others. We hope that they will spur innovation facilitate collaboration and provide guidance towards a more sustainable future for the building sector.